How y'all doing? I have a um, grandkid. I got three grandkids that are just awesome. Uh, they're beautiful like everybody. Their grandparents are all proud of their kids. Um, but tomorrow at 1.30, they have a birthday party for my grandson, who is the baby of the bunch so far. I have uh, four kids, and um, three of them don't have any kids yet, so it's just the beginning. Well, I told them that I would cook um, some pulled pork sandwiches for them uh, for tomorrow. So that means I've got uh, 13 pounds pork butt, and there's two of them in here, uh, that I'm going to have to smoke overnight because it's going to be about a 10 to 12 hour cook and then I need to let it rest for a couple hours so around 10 o'clock I want to get them on the uh, on the smoker and I'm going to be up through the night because I want to spritz I really want this one to come out really good so I have um, I have my seasoning it's garlic jalapeno rub that's going to be my first one we're going to do it in stages and I have sweet barbecue rub on pork, you want sweet. And then I'm gonna have a uh, um, cherry rub, which gives it a nice flavor and a beautiful color. Also, I have both of these garlics. I'm gonna try my best to stuff these with both of these. Pork loves garlic. You cannot put enough and jalapenos. Now, all of this, I'm gonna get all of that in there. It will not make it too peppered. The only thing that may make it peppered is this one. But it's on the outside, you got so much meat on the inside, so once you get it all pulled apart and stuff, it's gonna equal itself out. But pork loves jalapenos, and it's the flavor, it's not the, the heat at all. So you gotta try this on you, when you're smoking pork butts. I watch all of these videos and I don't see anybody else doing it. My sister showed me this and this was a gift from her because it's unbelievable. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna unpack this, clean it off, uh, get my garlic just in cloves, you'll see. I'm gonna get that drained out, put in there, and then I'll get back with you and show you what we're gonna do. All right, I got all my garlic peeled, jalapenos are ready. I got the uh, pork butts cleaned out. Now these are without the bone. That's all they had at Costco's. I prefer the bone in it. I think they taste better. Uh, but I was out of time and I didn't want to go around town and start looking for a uh, pork butt with the bone in it. So I'm gonna, it's gonna come out good. This, this guys, that's the secret. Okay, we're gonna call this smoke pork butt Cajun style. Because you don't see these guys from Texas and all of that, all of those other places stuffing these pork butts. We're gonna do it Cajun style. Cajun is 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 about flavor. I don't ever remember my mom was Cajun. She spoke French. Uh, before she could speak English. She would be 94, 94 years old, and she was pure Cajun and the most phenomenal cook. And I don't ever remember sitting at a plate of food from her and it being spicy, where it was, it was full of flavor. That's the misconception that just because it's called Cajun, that doesn't mean it's hot. It doesn't have to be hot, it just has to be full of flavor. Flavor, that's what we're doing here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna skin some of this fat off of it. It's got a little bit on the bottom side. I'm not gonna do much. We're gonna get some of this off. I'm gonna leave a little bit. I don't want to get too much into the meat. But I, I, I wish it had the bone in it. It's the first time I do one that does not have um, a 
bone in it. So we'll see. I know it's still going to be good. But I'm going to go ahead and finish trimming this thing up and I'll show you how I stuff it. All right. So I got most of the fat off. Um, I'm not going to take any, any more than that. But first what we want to do is start stuffing it. So I will make a hole. Get one garlic in there. And a jalapeno in that same hole. Get it in there good. Everywhere you can put a garlic and a jalapeno, you want to do that. If you haven't tried this yet, you got to try it. My sister showed me this, um, and she's a lot older than I am. She's an um, amazing Cajun cook herself. And um, showed me this, but in a rice and gravy. And I've taken it since then and started smoking them like this. And I mean, what a, it's a pleasure to me when I find a piece of garlic in my pulled pork sandwich. It's just a delightful taste. Um, it doesn't overpower it. Just like she, she told me when she taught me this recipe was um, pork loves jalapenos and it loves garlic. So like I said, everywhere you can put a garlic and a jalapeno, you want to do that first. What I do is I stick my hand, finger in there and get it um, first, like watch. Where it, because it, it pulls it apart and opens it and allows it to get in there far. Because you got to get it in there pretty far because if you don't, before you know it, they're slipping out. Okay. That's thin on that side, but we'll go right here. And again, if you can get one with a bone in it, that's much better. Much, much better. It tastes amazing, I'm telling y'all. Hopefully my family loves it. Labor of love, that's for sure, you know, when you gotta cook something for this long. Now be careful, you're not going, because I have it pretty deep, in there those um from the other side so now i'm trying to get more of the surface of it and this would be the top whenever i put it on the grill so i did the bottom first and when i saw that no um no bone in it i asked him i said do, do you have one with a bone in it I'd rather that, and they didn't have any. So I've never, ha I've never bought one like this, and you could see it's just, they tear it up to get the bone out. So I'm not crazy about that, but it doesn't matter with this, because you're not looking for a beauty contest when this thing's finished. It's all about taste. It's all about how it's gonna taste, because it gets pulled apart. Nobody sees, sees it, you know, really when it comes out. Cause you're gonna, you know, I'm gonna pull it apart probably before I get there. I'm still debating on what I should do if I should pull it apart before I get out there, or when I get out there do it. Um, Cause I want it hot. I want to leave it in the ice chest as long as possible. Cause you can leave this in there up to five hours and it still be um, hot. And this was a big garlic. I like this. I had to actually split those in half. Um, the garlic. Each one. Because they were so big. Let me get a couple on this side over here. It 
Yeah, if you do it rice and gravy, what you do is, this is all you do in it, is you do the same thing right here, you'll put the rub on it, like what, um, let me just turn it around this way. Just like what um, I'm doing here, but then I'll put rub on it, not so much rub, and then I'll put it in a pan with some olive oil on the uh, bottom of the pan, and I will brown it until this thing is completely brown. When you think you have it browned enough, you keep browning it. And you add a little bit of water at a time, a little, little bit of water at, the t at a time. And you don't put any of your Cajun Trinity in here. This is a unique dish. The gravy that it makes is outstanding. I mean, I had to quit cooking it for my in-laws because they wouldn't leave. They kept wanting to have Christmas over here and me do it. So, uh-uh. <laughs> gotta let you, gotta share. Right? Everybody share. Now you see I'm getting close. So I gotta time it to where I have some all over it. I could split some of those too if I needed to. But I think I'm going to be good. It's going to be perfect. I got one there and right here. I got one there. Yeah, this thing's tore up, man. Oh. not deep enough you see if you don't make it deep enough that thing will fall out so you want to get it in there all right let's get it on the other side well, this is gonna be my top but you could I mean this is just ridiculous how it's all beat up but I'm gonna tuck it all under on the grill so it cooks evenly I'm gonna go ahead and just make a bunch of holes this time. Yeah, I went too deep on that one. I felt the, that deal, so I'm gonna go there. All right, let's see. Go here. One here. Try to hurry up. I try to make these videos not so long. I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. But I want these, my kids, man, to have these on some of this stuff they really love to cook. That I mean, they love to eat that so they can learn how to cook it also, you know. I just, I don't understand why people are not doing this. Maybe they didn't know, but there's so many awesome chefs out there that know so much more than I do, you know? And then what we're gonna do is do a mustard base on it. be surprised I, th I thought when she first told me that I said man that's gonna be so peppered with all of that jalapeno in there no no that's good right there I'll leave that all right I got it everywhere so you see uh, a little bit left but not enough not a whole much to worry about so I got most of it in there 
So we're gonna go ahead and use a mustard to use it as a binder for our seasoning. So it's not a whole lot. You wanna get it spread on there real good. And I actually made a big boo-boo, but we can, this is gonna be okay. Do the bottom side first. Trying to hurry on the time on this video and get back in there. There we go. Make sure you get the sides real good. Okay. Turn this over. I'm gonna get my other hand messed all full of mustard. This is horrible. Do a bone in next time, y'all. Don't ever do one without a bone. Still gonna come out good though. All right. So then we start off. This stuff, like I told you, to make if it's gonna be hot, it's gonna come from this. So I don't want to get too crazy with this part of it. But I do want to get some on there. Loosen it up a little bit. There we go. Oh man. Hold on one second. Here we go. All right. There we go. Pat it down. Okay, remember we gotta get the sides. Gotta make the sides happy. Happy, happy. Well, I guess since this is all flapped open, put a little bit in there that you wouldn't be able to if it wouldn't have the bone. So maybe that is a good thing, we'll see. All right, like I said, I don't get too crazy. So then we're gonna go with the sweet barbecue next. And you can use any rub you want. They make a lot of good ones. I just have this. I bought, I bought these and I have them. And I'm gonna try some other guys stuff. I may even start making my own. I make my own black pepper and salt mixture. God, it smells good though. This you want to get generous with. You want to make sure this is all covered real good. Sides. All right. Make sure my sides are done on this one. This doesn't have so much heat in it. It's got more flavor. That's what we're looking for. I mean, it's not always about heat, y'all. All right. Then we go with the cherry rub to give it good color and also more flavor. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge and let it rest for about an hour or so. Let this stuff, um, all this seasoning start melting into the meat. Cause it is right now, it's just seven o'clock. So it's gonna be in there till 10. I'm gonna put it on at 10 o'clock at 180 degrees for one hour where that's extreme smoke. I wanna try to fill up this meat with as much smoke as I can and then we're going to, you hear my dogs over here fussing? They want some attention. Oh yeah, let's get it back in here. Get that baby in there. Where'd that sucker go? We'll get it back in there like that. There we go. All right. So, 
Those are ready to go on the grill. We're gonna put them on the grill just like that. Oh no, I'm sorry. Guess what? We gotta do the front side, <laughs> the top side. So again, we're gonna repeat what I just did on the on the top side. Same. It's all seasoned and ready to go. It looks uh, it looks and smells good. So I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator until 10 o'clock. Like I said, it is 7:11 right now. Now I gotta clean up all of this mess. I'm using premium pellets for my smoker. It is post oak, pecan, and cherry. Hopper's all full. My smoker is the Rectech RT590, also known as the Stampede. I would recommend Rectech to anyone. I'm not getting paid by them, but I'm just telling you, it's not a cookie cutter smoker, and the customer support is outstanding. You have to order it direct from Rectech. All right. It is 10 o'clock. Everybody's in bed except for me. Go ahead and get these butts on here. I mean, look how good that looks. That is so pretty. We're going to go ahead and put it, let's put it in the middle. And this one wants to all come in apart. We'll tuck all that in there. There we, uh, there we go. We'll come back in an hour and we'll turn it up to 250. And we'll cook it for two hours and then I'll spritz them. One hour at 180 degrees. I just kicked it up to 250. I'm going to go ahead and put my prongs in here where I can kind of monitor it as I go. All right, it's two o'clock in the morning. We're gonna take a look at it, see what it looks like, and we're gonna also, we're gonna spritz. Let's see. Oh yeah, it looks good. Oh, they got a good bark on it. Spritz it up real good. Yep, there you go. You get out the light where you can see. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we'll let it go to it gets to 165, and we'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up. All right, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this sweet barbecue on the bottom. Prevents it from sticking, and also just more flavor with the gravy that it's going to create in this pan. You can see the butts. Boy, they look pretty. So I'm just going to put a lamb on top of the seasoning. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to go ahead and put some more sweet barbecue on top. So with the sauce that I'm going to put on top, it's just going to drip down into the bottom of the pan to make a nice gravy and always use stain, Steen's pure cane syrup but if I didn't have this I would use honey you can take any sweet barbecue sauce and put on it I like this one um, I get it at Rouse's but you can get any one you like you don't have to do too much because I'm going to have a lot of gravy on the bottom from the juice from these pork butts. You better believe it's not butter. I'm going to put some of that on here too. I was out of sticks of butter. If I'd have had a stick of butter, I'd have probably put a half a stick of butter in the bottom. But this works great. Go ahead and cover it back up. And then I'm going to put my probes to the top so I can keep an eye on it. My Rectech grill keeps the probes on the grill so I'm going to put it here and here.
All right, so it's been resting for six hours, which is a little long, but it's still warm. And what I'll do now is I'll pull it apart and then I'll put it in my pot. And very important, I strain all of the fat that I'm gonna take off of this um, from the gravy. And I'm gonna put the gravy in my pot with all the meat. Don't just rip this butt apart recklessly. Pull each muscle apart off and, and take your time. Get the fat off of it. Tear each part. Oh God, that tastes good. Take each piece of meat and remove any fat that you have on it. Put it back in your gravy right here or in, in the trash. It doesn't matter. I'm going to strain the gravy anyway. But if you find a piece of garlic, which you will, a bunch of them, smash it. Put it in your pot. But take your time. Remove all the fat that you can so they don't get fat all on their sandwich. Just a labor of love. You take your time with it. And I promise you, you'll have a finished product that you're going to be proud of. Most importantly, remember, after you get it all put into the pot, strain that gravy so you take out all of the fat, pour all of that gravy back in the pot, mix it up really, really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven at 250 degrees for 20 minutes just to heat it up a little bit before I make the trip um, to my son's house for their birthday party, for my grandson's birthday party. It's only 10 minutes away, so I'll have it warm by the time I get it there. Thank you all for watching. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. I'm doing these for my kids so they have this re recipes that I love to cook and also that I can help other people. Thanks again. And I hope everybody has a blessed day. I made two different slaws for the party, and the pepper jelly was the hit. Oh my God, it was so good. And the sandwiches came out great. Everybody loved them. We had a blessed time. Thanks everybody.